More than 70 of the world's most accomplished musicians will be in Montreal for a major festival this spring. Its events will celebrate beautiful music and a composer who lived a troubled but gifted life. Our Paul Larson has more from the Montreal Chamber Music Festival. The 22nd Chamber Music Festival of Montreal celebrates the life and music of a composer famous for his passion and drama. Beethoven is one of these composers that is timeless. It's always a good time to celebrate Beethoven. The fact that Beethoven knew at a fairly early age that he was going deaf meant that he started a kind of quest to fulfill his artistic potential and he refused to compromise on, on his musical destiny as he saw it. During the festival, the Dover String Quartet will present six concerts, covering the complete string quartets of Ludwig van Beethoven. Organizers call it a great opportunity for audience members to hear this essential set of works in its entirety during one festival. The occasion to be able to hear all 16 string quartets is uh, incredibly rare. And it's not a question of comparing this one's better than that one, but it's this guiding principle that you can actually see Beethoven evolve as a human being as a composer and classical music too. It's evolution into the romantic period that's to follow. One of the intriguing things about Beethoven is how his personality is intimately linked to the music. In connection with the concerts, musicologist Richard Turp and other experts will deliver a series of lectures on Beethoven's life and works. He began composing the string quartets early in his life and it's among the last things that he completed. And so they're a kind of, we say in French, fil conducteur. They're a guiding thread to his uh, compositional style. Also lecturing and playing throughout the festival is its founder and artistic director, Dennis Brandt. He says the celebration will feature a variety of music, not just Beethoven, with performers coming from Quebec, other parts of Canada, the United States, Beethoven's home country, Germany, and Israel. I've commissioned Yoav Talmi, the great Israeli conductor and composer, who was conductor of the Quebec Symphony for over a decade, to write a new work for clarinet and string quartet. Uh, so that'll be premiered at the festival. Audience members will also get the chance to hear two winners of the Banff International String Quartet competition, when the American Dover String Quartet joins the Canadian Rolston String Quartet. Saturdays are jazz nights at the festival, with saxophonist Rémi Bolduc playing tribute to George Shearing, Hungarian-Canadian musician Robbie Botas, and fiddler Natalie McMaster of Nova Scotia. Brat will lend his cello expertise to concerts featuring violinist Andrew Wan, pianist Alon Goldstein, and pianist Jan Leschetsky of Calgary, who at 22 years old is one of Deutsch Gramophone's youngest recording artists. And I'm proud to say we featured him at the festival when he was a young teenager. The guy has a world career. Brat organized most of the concerts to feature at least one piece by Beethoven, something that pleases Montreal performers such as the Andara String Quartet and violinist Nune Malik. I think the power that he has, not a lot of composers have in their music, the power that he conveyed in his uh, works is still vibrant and alive until nowadays. <music> so
So I think it is very important to celebrate his genius because it is one of the most powerful and strongest genius that history of music ever known. The Beethoven Tuesday Lecture Series begins on April 18th. Festival events continue May 6th with cellist Dennis Brott and violinist Andrew Wan presenting Beethoven Words and Music. The festival also has family-oriented events and free smartphone concerts. For ticket and program information, head to festivalmontreal.org.